New this morning, a look ahead to end times with a family of preppers. No, not preppies. Those were, you know, old school 80s with the khakis and button downs. No, this is about folks who are preparing for the end of the world and what could befall all of us if we lost power or went off the grid. A brand new show debuting this week on the National Geographic Channel highlights the local dad and his Florida family who are getting ready for just such stuff. It's nothing we normally like to think about when what we know to be our world goes dark. But for some who insist that we are in the end times, it's a thought that rarely leaves their mind. Normally, preppers, uh, of which they say there's about 10 million of us out there, keep things quiet. That's what I mean. Brent calls the Bay Area home, but he's got another home away from here. That he's aiming to hunker down in in case of the end of the world. It's a castle built in an undisclosed location somewhere in South Carolina now about to be made famous by the National Geographic series Doomsday Castle. 6,000 square feet of rebar, cinder, and sweat. All because Brent's oldest son spilled the beans to the show's producer. My dad flipped out. He said, you told somebody about the castle and where it's at? No one is to know that. He basically banished me from the family. <laughs> the family had other ideas, though. I think as time went on and we realized how important this was to my dad, we wanted nothing more than to make it happen. And so beginning in March and lasting up until basically this week, every moment and motivation of Brent and his 10 kids were chronicled. I've got 10 alphas. Sure, sure, in the water. That's not usually the way it is. There's usually somebody that's the, the quiet one. I don't have any quiet ones. You get them riled and they, they I mean, they'll not only verbally do something, but they can, they'll, they'll even physically come to life. <laughs> which makes for some pretty interesting television. What surprised you the most? What I thought would just be an easygoing show turned into a real reality show. For the kids used to lives of leisure living off the grid was an adventure. There were many times that I wanted to leave because the experience was so hard at the castle. And that experience was the, the hours that we had to work just to get one small project done. Daughter Ashley told me that for all the castle hassles, she was glad to be a part. I'm not trying to survive the end of the world, but I am um, getting closer to uh, our history. And at the same time, this family is rewriting its own history. Yeah, and you know, I kind of live a, a nice, relaxing lifestyle here in St. Pete and downtown, and uh, up there, it was a lot of work. <laughs> what was the biggest surprise for you? My dad and I, got it. we got a lot closer. You know, we're, we're buddies. From banished to buddies, not bad. And all on display for the reality TV cameras. Looks like Brent and his brood have a legacy to leave after all. You know, it's exciting. But then you start to do it, and you're working 10, 12, 14 hours a day, and then you think to yourself, you're like, I wish the end of the world would just come already. <laughs> it's pretty wild, Bill. Yeah, show started this week, uh, airs for the next eight on the National Geographic Channel. Really cool stuff, and... Very interesting point of view. I don't like to think about that kind of stuff, but uh, most don't. Yeah, interesting insight them, though into a way that a way that not a lot of people live. You know, and we may have to if we go off the grid. Of course, then my little clicker won't work, and I won't be able to do weather. <laughs> but it works now.